This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. These are my opinions based on what research I have done. Please do not take my opinions as facts. More chilling information has came out about Chris Watts. I cannot say for a fact Chris Watts had any other affairs other than Kissinger, but there are two claims out there. I thought Nicole Kissinger was the only person he cheated on while he was married to Shannon, but seems there's more to the story. Seems Chris, while married, was a naughty young man allegedly cheating with a couple of people. The story gets crazier and crazier. Allegedly, two people have came forward and stated they had relations with Chris. But look, this story keeps getting weird to me. It shocked me. I never thought about him having an affair with anyone except Nicole. According to OK Magazine and other research I've done, Amanda, had a one-night stand with Chris. They had got in touch on the app, Tinder app, a dating site. They agreed to meet up at Chick-fil-A. From there, eventually, they headed to her house. Amanda said it was a one-night stand, and it was rough, stating that she did not go for the SCX they had. Allegedly, Chris was using the words he was separated to convince her to see him. Makes me wonder if he is constantly using I'm separated just to convince himself that he's doing nothing wrong. Or was he using that line to convince others to be with him or to get pity? Also, another document obtained by OK Magazine stated a male named Trent allegedly had a 10-month relationship with him in 2018. As of this video, Chris Watts has denied having any other relationships other than with Nicole. After watching some of the videos and the police questions and seeing Amanda in the interrogation room, Amanda claims Chris was funny, charming, but then while Amanda speaks to investigator, she and Chris met on Tinder, and they text, and the first time they met was for coffee. In this part of the story, it's Starbucks, not Chick-fil-A. At this point, I begin to question. It all didn't match up to me with the other story that she had said. Watts claimed that Chris told her that he was divorced. After they met up, they allegedly headed to Amanda's place to watch a movie. What movie? A thriller, Shattered Island. The movie is about a husband who takes his wife's life because she had taken the lives of his children. This is when I started to think again. Remember when Chris first confessed, he said Shanann had taken his children's life. That's why he took hers, which I know now is not true. But did he get the idea first saying that because of the movie? Amanda says that night was the first time they had SEX. She says Chris was very rough. She said it was like he had zoned out into another person. She also states he placed his hands around her neck and it freaked her out. It's not all adding up. In this part of the interview, She's stating it only lasted a couple of weeks. Then Chris started seeing Nicole. During the video, Amanda breaks down in tears. She only 
seen Chris again in the news media when he was arrested since they broke up. Let's now talk about Trent. I'm intentionally not saying the last names, even though it's public information. In the investigation room, an officer speaks with Trent. Officer says he believes Trent, but you know how police are. Sometimes they go along with any story just to get you to talk more. Trent meets with a reporter. Some have said Trent was a male escort. He clears it up with the reporter saying that he wasn't. In the video, I have no idea what is true. Hearing stories from two different people claiming they hooked up with Chris. If it's not true, how would they be saying this? How would they be making up such a story? Chris has denied ever hooking up with them. He claims the only person he hooked up with was Nicole. It's like a revolving door continuing to spin around. Trent claims he and Chris would meet. They would go to a motel room. Trent also goes on to say that Chris paid for him to have Botox and lip injections. So if this is true and Chris is paying for all this, where did Chris get the money? If it was from an account he and Shanann had together, how did he keep it from her? In the interview, he talks about how he and Chris would watch movies together. One was War, what is it? War Orange. The new oranges, the new black, something like that. I don't remember exactly. I haven't seen it. Trent says Chris told him he was separated. Also said he saw Chris's children one day while they were out outside of a shopping center. They ran into each other and Chris introduced him to his girls. In 2018, the relationship ended according to Trent. So let's go back to where Amanda meets Chris. She is in the interrogation room, speaking with an officer. This time she says, they text on my WhatsApp and they are going to meet at Chick-fil-A. Very convenient, in my opinion. She no longer has that text. Beyonce turns around and says it was a text now app. So she doesn't have anything showing where they text each other. My opinion, after listening to her, I found what she said seemed a little weird. Was she lying? If she was, for what reason? Such a sad story. Why would anyone say anything or come forward if it's not the truth? The neighbor speaks out. This is where we get into what the neighbor saw or what the neighbor's camera shows. The neighbor, I decided not to mention his name. He has a video camera at his home, maybe a ring camera or something like that. I don't know exactly. The police, along with Chris, head over to watch the video. As they watch the video, Chris seems nervous. His movements sway back and forth. His hands clasp around his head as he sways. Chris takes his eyes off the video, turns away with a solid stare. This is when, in my opinion, I think Chris realized he was caught. The neighbor's camera catches motion. Watching the footage, Chris seems sweaty and scared. Chris argues about the camera probably wouldn't pick up anything. The neighbor points out all the directions the camera will pick up. As the neighbor explains, Chris looks extremely stressed. 
Chris is constantly texting on his phone, ignoring the video. I don't know about you, but if it was me looking at the video, it could possibly give me information on my missing family. My eyes would be glued watching. No way could I take my eyes off it. Chris leaves the neighbor's house. The neighbor tells the officer something's not right with Chris. The two continue watching the video. You will see movement. The neighbor is saying it doesn't make sense. Chris, in the video, backs his truck up. Looks like there's trees and things hiding it from the view of the camera. The neighbor is very suspicious of Chris. In another video, I see the shadow of Chris back the truck to the garage, go inside, come out, outside, goes in to the driver's side of the truck. I can't tell if he's carrying something or anything like that, but several minutes, he's there. Before I see him return back into the house, I can't help but wonder why he was spending so much time out in his truck. Moments later, I see him go back outside to the driver's side of the truck, back and forth, he went, until he drove his truck out. The video I watched, the camera view, was mostly hidden by trees or bushes. It was hard to tell if or if anything he was carrying. After watching that part, I decided to call it a night. I want to state again, these are my opinions. Please do not take what I say as facts. Tell me what you think about Chris's actions. Is this normal? Was he being normal? And I'll say, please do not send any hate to anyone, and thank you.